this demonstration, I'm going to show you very quickly how to do a show and hide based on value changes in the page. So what we're going to do is we have a page here and we're going to drop, um, let's say, um, select one up here. Okay. And then we'll use, for example, one of our layout components like a form layout below it. And in the form layout, we can drop, for example, a phone field, and maybe we'll drop an email field also inside the form, okay, like that. By the way, if you want to see the structure of the page over here, you can see those two things are inside the form, okay? Um, so this is our page design. What we want to do next is hook up this select to some data. So we have a quick start here and we can connect it, for example, to um, some business object that returns values. So we'll select the ID and category. The value would be the ID and the label would be the category for this list. All right, so now we actually have values in here. And then what we want to do is based on the value that is changed, uh, we want to hide or show areas in this page. So we need two variables on our page. And the first variable would be whether to show something or hide. So we'll call this one show it. And we're going to use a Boolean variable for this. Okay. The other variable would just store the value that is returned from the list. So we'll call this one the list value. And this one can be, for example, a string. All right. So now we have the variables. Go back to the page. We'll hook up the list component. Okay, so we'll pick up the list component over here. And in terms of the data for it, we're going to map it so the data is saved in the list value. Okay. And then there's the form component that contains those two fields. One of the property of the forms is there's a property here called hidden. And we can hook this one up to the show it. So now, whether we show this or not depends on the value of this variable. All right. So now we just need to have the event that actually changes the value of this variable. And we can do this on the event for the list. Okay, so we create a new event. The default one is a quick start for the value change event. Okay. And in here, we're going to use an if event. Okay. And in the if, we can ask, for example, something about the list value. Okay, so if it's equal something or not, let's do something like if it's bigger than three. Okay, and then we need to um, do something. So if it's not bigger than three, we're going to hide it. So we're going to set the show it property to be um, false. If it is bigger than three, we're going to set the same variable to two. Okay. And that's it. Now we can run our little application. And we see that pages. And then again, we pop up. And if we select something from the first three, we actually see the value. If we select something here, the other things disappear. There you go.